and welcome to my channel again so this is going to be a weekly basket it's my first weekly basket ever i've been watching these weekly baskets and wanting to do them for quite some time they seem fun and exciting so i just jumped on the bandwagon and here goes right um please excuse me i'm sick i will be sniffling throughout the video probably so i apologize in advance so yeah what a weekly basket is if you don't know but you probably already know i'm just really quickly tell you is that you rummage through your makeup collection and you pick out you see like a few stuff that you want to use to do a complete makeup and you use from that with you know what you see like you use from that pile only and that just helps and then every week you change it up so you um pretty much get use out of all of your makeup products and stuff uh, but you know at least you try to use out all you know you just want to get use out of your products and don't leave any behind because you know when we get new makeup we tend to use that and we leave the old ones behind and it just makes you fall in love with what you used to love in the first place and don't use anymore that pretty much is a summary of what a weekly basket is for me at least so i'm gonna start off with um face so for moisturizers i have this Olay all day moisturizer with sunscreen spf 15 love this one there's a couple from the Olay that i own also um this yellow part here i have one that's pink and another one that's green um those are scented and i really don't like those they leave a kind of greasy feel to my face so i'm gonna be using this love this after the review on this really love it i also have this day cream from a new reversal lift reversal list renewal cream um it's really tiny and it's almost finished so i just want to come finish all this and then i'll use that and just for night cream what i'll be using any night after i remove my makeup i just want to show you show you um as it's finishing is the a new reversalist night cream and um it's just a white it's just a clear cream actually a clear gel with like um gold flex in it real gold in it so yeah i don't know if you can see it but um there is gold flex and it's just a gel and also for night time after i remove my makeup and whatnot um this is the nivea um wrinkle control night cream so that's what it looks like i have to really start using this i've had this for a long time and um <gasps> oh no i didn't okay so i guess i will just be using the remainder of what you know it's really runny so if you want to get this or if you have this it's runny and i just spill majority of it in front of you y'all witness that right if i edited videos this would be the slow motion pack <laughs> yes i just um yeah i just spilled all of it so, um, whatever remains in the jar i have to clean the um place now but whatever remains in that jar i will be using it in the night time so primers i will be using this soothe and care monostat cheap and gel yes cheap and gel for face primers you can look it up a lot of people use these for face primers and it looks amazing so shall use this i've been staring clear at this for a, a while now because it feels so silky i don't like that feeling it's too smooth like i just can't stand that feeling so that's that it feels almost greasy but it's matte so i'll be using that um for primers for foundation i pulled out this new sasha second skin foundation and um i used it once and so far so good um so i just want to experiment with this so i could do a thorough review on it because i got requested to do a review on this i will do it as soon as i get some use out of it and see how it works but so far it's okay i also have my black opal cream stick foundation um which is in my handbag so like for days when i'm only going to have to do my makeup in the car or something i'll be using that and um for concealers i have three i have this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn, which is just a lighter, it's one shade lighter than my actual skin tone, so I'll be using that to highlight. And I have these two that I hate, but I really want to use them. And it's the what is this? LA Colors Mystic Foundation slash Concealer Stick. And this was one of the in Honey Beige. This was one of the fullest foundations or concealers that I ever got, and it's really light. And I don't know what I. I will use it as concealer i was going to use this strictly for under my brows to sculpt my brows because i don't like using my more expensive 
um, well, these aren't expensive. Any of these aren't expensive. But like my more expensive concealers, I don't like to use that just under my brows. So I'll be using this one under my brows. I will try, probably try to use it underneath my eyes to see how that works. But sticking with my under eyebrows just to um, clean it up. And this cup of goo concealer I don't know your eyes and came off and it's really dark and I hate this thing I think it's going bad so I just want to finish it out if not I would probably throw it within the week throw it out because uh, I hate this thing it's really dark so I'm gonna use that um so yeah that's that for certain powders I have two I have the Arista the right and came off this is the Arista pressed powder in Sunkiss and it's just full this is like a powder foundation. I really like this. Um, that's for days when I don't want to use um, my more expensive pressed powders, I should say. And like if I'm going out on errands and I just want. So I'll just put that there. And my L'Oreal True Match Pressed Powder in Caramel Beige, W7 Caramel Beige. I've hit on this a long time ago. I just want to finish it. I will refill, I blah blah. I will be repurchasing this. So, um, love that. And yeah, so over on the eye setting powder, my ear have an itch. I'm sorry. Um, this is the Elf HD powder in corrective yellow for under my eyes. And yeah, so for blushes and contour, I will be using my pressed mineral blush from Elf. This is Cabo Cabana and Wanderlust. I'll be using those two. I have another one. This is the La Femme blush in... I have it in this little single pan. It's in Purple Passion. That is the color of it there. Really pigmented and nice. So I have that. And for contour, I have this CoverGirl Queen in Ebony Bronze, which is the darkest one because I've really been into... I, haven't, I don't have any... I hardly have on any makeup, just a bold lip. And I don't have any contour or blush. But I've been really into like a really structured, concentrated, just ugh, super, ugh, I don't know how to explain it, really dramatic bowl contour, I don't know. And that is it, it's fairly dark. So it could also work as um, a blending color in the crease, a darker color, so I'll be using that. That's new, it hasn't even been in a whole video as yet. So um, we'll be using that. And um, okay, so for eyes. I'm sorry, I have to stretch over because I placed everything on the bed in a stupid form. <laughs> so I have for eyes, primers and bases. I'll be using this eyelid primer in champagne. Um, this is just for days where I don't have time to do any eyeshadow. I just slapped on my lids, which is what I usually have been doing a lot of. And wing liner and that's it, mascara and everything and that's it. And I use I pull out the stopper because it was drying up. And I pull out the stopper and like look at the amount of product is in this thing and it doesn't want to finish. I know Rowana VM, fellow Trini local YouTuber. She has one of this and it does not finish. And mine looks like it's going to remain forever also. So I've been using that for the longest while, probably more than a year now. Um Elf Eyelid Primer in Sheer. Well, it's a sheer one I got in a set. Really love this. It's very comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Shadow Insurance from Too Faced and I also have my Benefit Stay Don't Stray so I'll be alternating between these two um, yeah, before they dry up on me I don't know then I have these three bases from e.l.f. these are the smudge pots in brownie points back to basics and cruising chic so those are pretty neutral colors and then i'm sorry and then for eyeshadows i just have a few small palettes i have the kat von d um starstruck quad um so it comes with a really nice decent mirror and those are the shades right there um so yeah pretty neutral so i have that and that's all shimmer so um i took out this one for transition colors this is the vanity palette from from elf from wet and wild that i love it's the six pan and um these have really decent shadows like tree shimmery tree matte um i could use these three i'll be going two for my crease and whatnot transition and you know outer v and yeah so have that i just love that i have those two palettes in my bag um 
but then I just pull out this one in case I want to do a colorful look this have some colors and I have not really dived into this as yet it's the slim you right and it's coming out from city color in collection 2 it's just a yellow one and um, there's some purples and blues in this and a black and a silver in case I feel to do you know those sorts of colors and for a pop of color I just pulled out this one pigment and I really need to start using up some of my pigments I have too much is Helena Rustique's Dracula which is um I hope this won't fall out <laughs> it's just this blue color really gorgeous and um, so yeah those are for eyes and eyeshadows that's all for um brows and whatnot I will just be using this second love eyebrow compact that I recently got from Pennywise and that's what it looks like so yeah that's for my brows um so what else do i have for liners and um i'm all over the place i'm sorry for liners and mascaras and stuff i have my falsies from maybelline i also have my tart lights camera lashes in my bag so i'll be using that also um fabio liner from jordana liquid felt tip eyeliner that I love and this thing does not want to finish I did use it today this thing doesn't want to finish and I love it we'll be repurchasing soon and Urban Decay Glide On in Zero which is just a black Rimmel Exaggerate in Deep Ocean which is a blue a deep blue been killing this thing been using this thing for about two years and it has not it doesn't seem to want to finish and I have a lot of product remaining and mascara primer I just want to try this this is the elf mascara primer that I recently got and this was in a recent haul video so check that video out um so yeah so now for lips so i have a bunch of lip products just because um i don't know i have to have options for lips i will just start off with the lip balms of choice for this week because i have a lot of lip balms that i want to start using this is the amuse fruit lip balm that i got gifted from my sister a long time ago um it's it's not almost finished it. I have like three quarter of the way. I'm three quarter of the way down. So uh, then for night time I use this only in the night. This is the Vaseline lip therapy. I have a lot. I mean I finished a lot, but I do have a lot remaining. This thing lasts a long time. And then my elf lip balm tint for days where I just you know want a little bit of colour, but I still want something on my lips. So then I have Okay, let's see. The MN Lip Long Lasting Lip Gloss in number 8. 08. A really nice bright. I've been into bright lips, so that's pretty much all that I have. Don't Blink Pink, which is what I'm wearing right now. Don't Blink Pink. That's the color of it. Really bright and nice. Um, I have my matte, my new Revlon color. Matte balm in unapologetic. This video is getting long. I'm sorry, it's almost finished. Unapologetic, which is just a coral pink. I have NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Dolly Pink, which is just this pink, and Brazen Berry from the Vivids collection that came out a while ago. So that's it there. And for nude lips, just well, nude ish lips, um, I have Pink Truffle from the Lip Butters. Which is a like a nude for me it's nude um and this mineral lip gloss in fierce to go on top probably or just alone depending on my mood um so yeah and then i have one more product two more products and it's the i forgot to include this you know while i was doing blush this is the high beam um <laughs> the high beam highlighter i forgot i lost my thought there I beam illuminating liquid thingy so I have that love that and to set it I have my elf mist and set which is all the way down here I just want to finish it so yes that is it it was long I'm sorry that was my weekly basket my first weekly basket ever I had a lot of products but um these are just stuff that I really wanted to use some of them were old some of them were new I just wanted to play around with them so thank you so much for watching it was all over the place I apologize and if you want to review on any of these things seen let me know and Check out the description bar for more information and until my next video, stay safe.